Hi guys, welcome back to the farmhouse. I'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure with me as I go into one of our weekly chores. I am heading down into our basement to feed our worms. Yes, we keep our worms in the basement because it is cooler and because they are just out of the way. So we have a bathroom in the basement and that's where we keep our worms. So that's where we are heading. So this is our basement bathroom and here is our lovely worm bin. We started this worm bin, I guess about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. We started by drilling holes around this upper part for um, ventilation and just to give them air. Then we shredded up a bunch of newspaper and put that in the bottom. On top of the newspaper, we did two blocks of cocoa core and then instead of ordering worms from an online supplier, which we have nothing against online suppliers for worms, we just found worms in the backyard and we were like, oh, let's just throw these in. So that is what we did. They were um, red wigglers or red wranglers. I don't remember exactly what kind they were, but we threw those in the worm bin. I think Jamie collected them two or three times. We had about 150 worms. We threw them in the bucket. It was very slow. It was a slow start for our worm bin. But since then, we have had great luck. And I feed them about every week, every two weeks. So let's open this up and see what it looks like inside. Ooh, look at that. I can see a worm right there. Where is it? Right there. So it is looking pretty good. And just like I suspected, it is, or they are probably pretty hungry. So I brought down, we have some kitchen scraps today, just some banana peels, apple cores, some paper towels and some grape stems. So I'm going to put those in here. The way that we do this is we rake everything to one side and I try to get almost all the way down to the bottom. And then I put the food in and then I cover it back up. I am already looking in here and especially over here in the corner, this looks really wet. So I am gonna run upstairs and grab some newspaper as well. As the worms are eating the food waste that we put in here, it is producing a water and we really don't want it to be too soggy. You can put holes in the bottom of your worm bin to help with drainage. We did not choose to do that, so we add newspaper now and again to help soak up some of that water. So I'm gonna run up and get the newspaper and then we will get to feeding these worms. Hopefully you guys can see this, but I dug in here a minute ago and look at all of the worms, just even on my rake. But yeah, there's a lot of water in here. So I'm going to dig this over, dig down pretty deep. I think that's a pit of something. I'm going to rip the newspaper and just throw it in just to get it to soak up some of that water. Not only is the newspaper soaking up the water, but the worms will actually um, feed on the newspaper as well. It's considered a brown in the composting world. So let's get all of this moved over. I'm gonna knock this off. It's sticking to my rake. Look at all those worms! Yummy! So exciting. This is gonna be awesome for our garden this year. I'm super excited about this. All right, let's do, I'm gonna dump this food in first. You can cut your food scraps up smaller. I don't have time for that. We just use the big scraps. The bin also does have a little bit of an odor to it, so this, um, adding the paper is gonna help. That is another reason we keep it in the basement. 
because if it does have an odor, then it will keep that down. I'm adding a lot. There we go. All right. Cover this up. Push this down. Cover this up. Right. I probably should have dug deeper down into the bottom of it to put that newspaper deeper down, but I think that's going to be okay for now. And um, we'll check on it next week. So there you have it. That is how we feed our worms on a weekly, bi-weekly basis. If you want to know more about worm composting or just composting in general, tons of articles on our website. I'll link it below for you. Thanks for hanging out with me at the farmhouse today. If you want to see more of our homesteading adventures, make sure that you hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can be not notified the next time I upload a new video about gardening, from scratch cooking, natural living, and just pure family fun. Again, thanks for visiting the farmhouse and we'll talk to you guys soon.